and inspirational stories, Cam Calhoun was born with cerebral palsy and was told from a young age that there were many things he wouldn't be able to do. But he proved many people wrong. Let's welcome to the Harvey Norman Lounge, Cam Calhoun. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Now, welcome. Now, this is really interesting. The turning point in your life was when you got a letter from Jeremy Wells. Tell me about yeah. that. So I was in my third form at school and starting to realise I'm a little bit different and I, I was wondering what kind of future I would have. And at the low of my low, my mum, she wrote a letter to Jeremy Wells because I loved the, uh, the TV show he was on. And I returned home from a pretty bad day at school and there was an envelope from TV New Zealand. And inside that envelope, a two-page letter from Jeremy. And then that letter... He told me about his experiences at school, and but the words that stood out was that difference is a good thing. The people who count in this world look for those who are different, and I've just held those words with me. Wow, that is since. awesome. Yeah, that, that is cool. awesome. And just what, what an awesome thing for Jeremy Wells to do as well, you yeah, know. It's really important. Thing. You know, take mm. time out, yeah. apply, and you can change a life, which I think is great. OK, so you got the letter. And what kind of got you into sport? Tell us more about that. Yeah, so I started a new school, you know, the environment I was in wasn't working for me. And I thought, this is my opportunity to give things a go. And I got into athletics. I... I lost the race by a long way, but as I ran down that track, I heard people saying, go Cam, go Cam, you can do it. And from there, just lit a fuse of, we like being told what we're good at, and we like being supported. And through that, I just, my ambition grew. I've always wanted to live a life where I could do something. Pretty yeah. awesome. Um, and you travelled around the world with sport. Um, it's, it's made you want to go to New York. That's what, is that the case? Yeah. So I uh, travelled with the world. I represented New Zealand and Australia, Canada, won championships in all those places. And I realised I really love competition. But I didn't want my competition to be determined by the abilities of my cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. rather governed by who I am as a human being. And I'd done a little bit of speaking, and I thought, hey, this is a pretty cool gig. Yeah. And I thought, in order to really step up, I needed to go to the most competitive place I could think of, and that was New York City. And I went there, and things went pretty well. I spoke with NBC Universal via Common International. Wow. And I, I, I now go back to America every year speaking and what it did is it made the world a whole lot smaller it created opportunities and i just decided to leverage those and now here i am on this couch and yeah, yeah and, wow. and very successful too so what what was it about athletics that made you want to give specifically athletics a go in that particular area because i've got the sense can that you could have done anything and excelled so why was it athletics well uh, to be more specific, it was about 100 metres. Right. And it was just over so fast, right? Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> my, my good mate, he was, a, he was an Iron Man, and he went out, we went out training one day, and he was running up his hill, talking away, and I was just focusing on survival, right? So at that point, I thought, hey, like, 200 metres sounds like a good, a good max. <laughs> I love the yeah, way you think. You know, I've been training for an Ironman. Uh, so you, you're one of New Zealand's most inspirational public speakers now. Let's take a look at a clip that we've got of you. If you want inspiration, look around you. But if you want motivation, stop, look in the mirror, and go, hey, <laughs> pretty good looking. <laughs> and don't move until all you're thinking about it's the life you ultimately want to live. When I did this, I realised that, well, I wanted to be competitive in life. I didn't want my competition to be determined by the abilities of my cerebral palsy, but governed by who I am as a human being. Oh, that is brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just repeated myself. I, I do have more <laughs> lines. <laughs> yeah. OK, what do you love about inspiring others? It's really the feedback, you know, when you hear from someone uh, 
down in Gore and there's a young boy and he says, Cam, I want to be an All Black and now I believe I can. Or for business owners who have gone over, who have bought new businesses, people who have run marathons, just for feedback. But mm. what, what I really like is that in not much time we go from assumption to understanding and we realise that what unites us as people isn't what we achieve but our desire to achieving awesome things. Wow. And that's why I do what I do. You're right, it is. It's the desire to achieve. It's about passion. It's seeing that communication is what, is what brings us together and that the most important thing in our world is people. Yeah. Nothing can replace that. Oh, you that are is great. Awesome. And that yep. is fantastic. It's been such a pleasure having you on the sofa today. Thank oh. you so much for joining us, Thank Pam. you. Yeah. It's been awesome. Um, if, you're, if you're inspired and you'd like to get in touch or find out more about Cam, head to his website, which is on screen right now.